Now look here, kids. I know that you're sick and tired of that sloppy, slimy guitar pick of yours slipping out of your hand fingers all the time. If you're looking for a sick pick with superior grip, the Swiss Picks Sharp Cheddar just might be the Holy Grail. I'm Ben Eller, and this pick is sick. <laughs> Hey kids, it's your good old Uncle Ben here with a brand new installment of This Pick is Sick, and this week we're going to be talking about the Swiss Picks Sharp Cheddar. Swiss Picks are made here in the good old United States of America by a dude named Pete, and you might have seen them in the hands of such hunks as Rusty Cooley, as well as upcoming YouTube dudes like Stratton Hammond and Sims Cashy and other buddies of mine are using these things, and for good reason, they're pretty flippin' amazing. Now, I'll be the first to admit, the fact that they're called Swiss Picks, and that they have holes in them, like Swiss cheese, and the fact that they're orange, like cheese, and the fact that it's called the Sharp Cheddar, is all extremely silly. But really, when you get down and think about it, it's almost so stupid that it becomes funny again. But don't let the gimmick put you off, because behind all that silly stuff, you've got a really mean pick that's suitable for a variety of styles and applications. I really dig these things a lot. Let's check out some of the specs. So here's a couple of these Swiss picks here next to some regular guitar picks for a size comparison. This is just a regular Dunlop pick, this is a Dunlop Jazz 3. You can see that the regular sharp one here is pretty much the size of a regular guitar pick, but with a sharper point. And of course it looks a little smaller because of the cutouts on the corners and stuff like that, but if you lay them on top of each other, basically the same size as a regular pick, just with a better point. They also make a Jazz version of the pick here which is basically the exact same size as the Jazz 3. Again, it looks a little smaller because of the cutouts, but if you lay them on top of each other, you'd see that they're basically identical. This one right here, the uh, two millimeter Sharp Cheddar has been my favorite so far, but if you're more of a Jazz pick sized guy, definitely check out the little Jazz size dude right here. He is, how thick is this? 1.3 millimeters. But I think they make some other sizes and stuff too, so check the website out for all those specs. My favorite is a good old 2mm guy. So obviously the big draw of these picks is that they have these cool grip holes in them, which honestly is nothing really that new. There's lots of picks that have holes in them. But one thing that makes these a little bit different, for one, is the kind of asymmetrical pattern of them. But another thing I want you to notice is that the grip holes have a lip around them that sticks up. See how that's kind of raised up? It's almost like think of it more as, you know, craters rather than just holes straight through the pick. So these raised edges that are around these holes and the cutouts on the sides and stuff like this just do even more to raise the level of grip that these things have. They're really killer. Kind of like what I said about the pick boy edge. They're not so grippy that you can't move them around in your hand if you want to, but at the same time they're way more grippy than a regular guitar pick. So these are killer, especially if you like to, you know, really play with a hard attack. I use this guy a lot whenever I'm playing bass with a pick as well, because if you play bass with a pick, you know that whacking those huge strings really puts a beating on a pick and it'll fly out of your hands really easily. So playing bass with one of these guys is a real dream. These things are made out of Delrin, which is a pretty standard pick plastic material. I would compare it pretty similarly to a Red Jazz 3, so if you've ever used one of those, you have a pretty good idea of how these things are going to uh, sound whenever they hit the string. Now because of the thickness of the 2mm one though, it's going to have a little bit more bite to it than a standard Red Jazz 3 does, which I like. I generally like that kind of extra pick attack. But of course if you use one of the thinner ones, like the 1.1, it's a little bit more along the lines of what you'd expect out of a Jazz 3. So now that you've heard me talk about them, let's put these things to the test and hear what they sound like firsthand.
So now that you've heard this cheesy little pick in action, we're gonna go over it and uh, grade it in a couple of different areas to give you an even better idea what this guy is worth. First category we're gonna talk about is attack, and what I mean by that is how pronounced the pick attack is whenever you hit it on the string. There's some picks that are really smooth sounding, and there's some picks that are really harsh and chirpy sounding. I'd say that this guy is somewhere a little bit beyond the middle range of that. It's a little bit more chirpy and attacky than like a regular guitar pick, probably partially due to its thickness and the pointed tip on it, you know? If you get one of the ones with the rounded tip, that'll take you back to more like your normal just kind of Dunlop or Fender pick range sort of sound. But with the uh, heavy two millimeter gauge and sharp point, it gives you just a little bit more attack than you would have from a normal pick. So on a scale of 10, I would give this thing about a six. Next thing we'll cover is grip, which is where this pick really shines. Because of those holes in the pick that have little raised edges around them, this thing has a really killer grip to it. While you're playing with it, it doesn't really, you know, kind of turn in your fingers. So if you're one of those dudes who's playing on a pick and you find it, you know, cocking sideways on you like that and you have to readjust it all the time, this is a great pick for you because those things are gonna grip into your thumb really well. While at the same time though, if you're one of those dudes that likes to kind of adjust the pick a lot as you're playing, it doesn't grip so hard that you can't move it. So this thing has a really, very ideal grip pattern. I like it a lot. I'd give this a nine out of 10 in grip. Next, let's talk about the durability of this guy. I've probably put about 20 hours or so onto this pick playing guitar and bass, and bass will really destroy a pick super, super fast if it's susceptible to easy damage, you know? And this guy seems to be holding up really well. I would say it's uh, more durable than your average pick, you know? You can see that the tip is still really sharp, the edges haven't gotten roughed up or anything like that at all, so it's holding up very well. I would put the lifespan of this guy slightly beyond that of a regular pick, so I'll give its durability a 6 out of 10. And the last category we'll talk about is the overall value of these things, the bang for your buck factor. If you go to the uh, web store that's off of the Swiss Picks website, which you can find at SwissPicks.com, these run, it's like $11.49 for a 12 pack of them, which I think is very reasonable. That's less than a dollar per pick. Which like I said, considering the longer than usual lifespan, the great grip and overall quality of these things, I would say it's a very good value. So I'm gonna put the value of these at an eight out of 10. So there you go, kids. I hope that gives you guys a good idea of what to expect when you buy some Swiss Picks Sharp Cheddar Picks. I do definitely enjoy them. It's one of the coolest new picks that I've tried out in a really long time, so I think that you'll enjoy them too, regardless of if you're playing guitar or bass or whatever. They also sound really good on acoustic too. This material sounds really great on acoustic instruments. Uh, I'd probably go with a thinner one if I was playing a lot of acoustic stuff, but your mileage may vary. So whatever it is you're doing, if you need a pick that'll last a while, has a good sharp point to it like this, and isn't gonna you know, get all squirrely and run away from your fingers, this is a great option for you. Be sure to go to SwissPicks.com and there's an option on there that says like products or purchase or something like that where you can find a link to the web store to get yourself a pack of these things. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ben Eller Guitars. 
Be sure to stay tuned. I'll be doing more of these uh, episodes of This Pick is Sick here really soon. And I'm covering a lot of really cool kind of boutique and handmade picks and all that soon. So really neat stuff coming up. Cheers, guys. See you soon.